how do I say this? She always wants to be in the video. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. I've wanted to do this video for a while now. I did some workouts about building bigger thighs because I enjoy building bigger thighs. I love doing leg workouts. I love the aesthetics of it. I love the benefits. I enjoy those movements. It was something I did for myself and I noticed that there wasn't a lot of it on YouTube. All the videos about thighs were just about getting skinnier thighs and so I thought oh let's put something else out there so that anyone who also enjoys it like me can do those videos too. And it kind of blew up. They're kind of like my most commented on slash done workouts which is great. Really happy about that. Really pleased about that. But one thing I've noticed is that some people comment saying they hate the skinny thighs but there's a boy in school who who likes bigger girls and they want to gain weight and they talk down about their body and so i wanted to make this video to address that because because i can't maybe i should tell you about my story okay so growing up i did a lot of athletics and um, this meant that i had bigger thighs like i had muscly legs and i remember my friend in school my best friend always used to say she was so fat she was so fat she wasn't fat she was a normal child she would always say that and i remember thinking if she thinks she's big because she had really slim legs then i must be huge because i had muscly legs and i went home this is very personal one of my <laughs> youngest like body image memories as of me sitting literally sitting on my bed on my bunk bed looking in the mirror opposite me with my leg like this hitting my hamstring saying i wish i wasn't so fat and it was just a hamstring it was just an athletic toned hamstring of a young girl who did athletics it's probably about maybe even younger than 10 maybe i was like 9 10 at the time thought that i was <laughs> i was too big i thought i was fat i remember when i did athletics like literally sprinting for Wales as a junior athlete, I was British number one and I remember when they would give you the Welsh kit and it was knickers and crop top and I hated it, I hated it because I was like my thighs are huge, my thighs are huge and everyone's going to be looking at them and I didn't like them, I really really all I wanted was a thigh gap because thigh gaps were in then, thigh gaps were cool, thigh gaps were what everyone had, all the skinny models had, everyone on TV had, what my sisters had, what my friends had and, and I was just like how do I get one? And then, you know, life happens. And somewhere along the road, <laughs> I decided, screw it, like, nah. Like, this is just my body. This is just the way it is. I can not change it. And I like it. I decided I liked it. I think it was it, it specifically when I stopped working out and I stopped doing athletics and then I was less muscular and I realised, oh my gosh, I liked feeling muscular. I liked being fit. I liked being strong but I let the perception of what other people said I had to look like change the way I saw myself and make me be really mean to myself. But I think that was, was when I got back into it and I was like, I don't even care. I don't even care about what is popular and cool and trendy. I'm gonna dress for my body. I'm not gonna be mean about myself. I guess I share all that to say, please don't be mean about yourself. Like, stop being, stop saying nasty things about yourself. Like, there is nothing wrong with having skinny legs. There's nothing wrong with having bigger legs. You're beautiful. Like, you are beautiful. You're beautiful exactly how you are. The way that I try to think of it is that I try to treat myself exactly how I would treat my daughter. I would encourage her. I would encourage her to exercise and to eat healthily. I would encourage her to study her books. Education number one. Um, but I wouldn't call her names. So I'm not going to call myself names. You're beautiful beyond the trend as well. I feel like this video is kind of blown up because now bigger thighs are in and trendy and cool. We are beautiful beyond the trend because the pendulum swings both ways. One day it's like, gotta be size zero. Next day it's like, size zero is bad. Gotta be plus size. Next day it's like, you gotta be super fit. Pendulum swings both ways and you have to be able to know your beauty beyond that, beyond what is currently popular because you will just you'll you'd go crazy trying to fit every different trend like that's just not what our bodies were made for you are beautifully and wonderfully made it'll be rare that you hear me say something mean about myself whether it's 
calling myself stupid or calling myself ugly or fat, like that's something I've chosen not to do. You wouldn't hang around with a friend who was constantly saying mean things to you. Well, you are your own friend, like stop saying mean things to you. You, you can't even escape yourself, so it's worse. If you're constantly saying mean things to you, you are constantly around yourself. Like that's a horrible environment to be in. You deserve that love and kindness too. There is beauty in you, whether the current trend in society is recognizing your unique form of beauty right now or not, you are beautiful beyond the trend either way, okay? Does that mean that you can't do these workouts? Of course not. Exercising is really good for your health. I encourage you to continue exercising. I'm so pleased that you guys love that video. It's an amazing workout and I highly recommend it. It's so, so good. I love, you know, I do those kind of workouts all the time. It's so much fun. It's good for you. Building muscle mass is good for your health. It is definitely recommended, which is why I make videos to help you guys to be able to do that in a free and healthy way from the comfort of your own home. I'm just saying that no matter what type of exercise and healthy eating you're doing as you do it don't forget to be kind to yourself and encourage yourself and say good things about your body okay it's not about punishing ourselves it's not about saying we're not good enough as we are because we are i hope that i haven't come across too preachy um or been too preachy it's probably a little bit preachy i'm sorry but it's just i know what it's like like when i see those comments i'm like no i wish i could just grab you from the screen and just hug you like stop it stop this i used to do this and it's not a happy way to live it's not and it never ends it never ends if you're like dragging yourself about your thighs one day tomorrow it'll be your arms and then it'll be your waist and then it'll be your, your ears you know i used to drag myself about my ears i have very small ears and the kids used to make fun of them i used to hate my ears why what for sarah what for it's just stupid stop it stop it okay Beautiful. So <laughs> and that's all I wanted to say. I hope that's okay. I hope this makes sense. Um, yeah, I love you so much, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>